Welcome! In this video, we're going to be doing a review of the Projects module in Function Point. We'll start with a brief description of what the Projects module is. You'll notice in the system's main navigation bar that we have Projects, Estimates, and Jobs. The Projects module is an umbrella for a group of estimates and potentially a group of jobs. The Projects module is useful when you need to manage something like a multi-job campaign, when you need to group multiple estimates together to produce a project estimate, or when you're needing to group together multiple jobs for the purpose of sending your client a single invoice with multiple pieces of work included. The Projects module is not necessary in all cases, but it's useful when you need to group together multiple pieces of work. If we choose to add a project, it'll bring us to the Project Add page and the information that's requested is very basic. More information will be added later in the estimates that you'll put beneath the project. We'll give it a name, enter a code, select a type. The list that you see here is a customizable list that you can change in the admin section under System Setup and List Maintenance. We can then choose an account executive, select the client that we'll be working with, PO number and description. On the right side, you'll notice a drop down that says project term. These are the terms that will show up on the project estimate if you choose to produce one. We have the project budget. This is meant to be a single line item that represents an overall dollar value that is the budget for the project. The estimates that you enter beneath the project may have their own specific values that could be quite detailed, but the project budget is a single line that's meant to be an overall budget for the entire project. Click Submit, and our project is now added. We are now looking at the Project Details page. The next step would be to either add an estimate or to add a brief and we may end up adding multiple estimates and potentially multiple briefs and ultimately multiple jobs beneath this project. I'm going to navigate to one that has a bit more detail already in it. I'm going to choose this dealership campaign as my example. You'll notice on this project's details page for the dealership campaign that in the tabs below we happen to have a couple schedules. We have in total four estimates. All of those are approved and have been turned into jobs. We have four jobs beneath this project. If you do not have the jobs approved and the estimates are still in a review status and you wish to send your client a project estimate, you would do so by selecting the Estimates tab, choosing which of these estimates you'd like to show up in the printout, and then at the top right corner, selecting the Print dropdown and choosing Project Estimate. You'll have at least one Project Estimate printout template, however you may have more depending on if you set up any in the Admin section under System Setup and Printing Preferences. I'll choose to produce my Project Estimate, and this will give me a PDF with all the sub-estimates that I've related to this project included on the document. In this case we have a title, description, and a value for each. But the level of detail that you choose to show may be more or less depending on how you set it up in the admin section under printing preferences. Since these are all now turned into active jobs, and we actually do have some time against a few of them, you'll notice that there's a tab called Job Financials and we'll see some values. This is similar to the Jobs Financials tab that you'll see in other areas of the system but in this case it's showing us each job that is beneath the project that we're looking at. For each job we're able to see the estimated value, the actual value being the value of time and expenses against the job, the variance between your estimated and your actual, how much you've invoiced the client so far, and a comparison here between the value of what you've invoiced the client so far and the value of the work that you've done. Like many other areas in the system, you are able to drill in further and see where this information is coming from, all the way down to the individual timesheet. 
you'll notice that there's a project budget that is displayed. I mentioned earlier that this is an overall budget for the entire project. This is that single line that we would have entered when we were adding the project. Notice that it's also letting me know the total value of all the estimates that we've entered. I can compare that with the project budget, see how much room we have left. We can also see the actual totals, being the billable value of all time and expenses, and the invoice totals, how much we've invoiced for everything beneath this project. On the topic of invoicing, if you wish to invoice for the project and include one or multiple jobs that are beneath it, we would do so by selecting Add Invoice up at the top right corner. This will allow you to create either a single invoice for the entire project or an independent invoice for each job beneath the project. That concludes this video on the Projects module in Function Point. Please continue checking out more of our videos for more helpful information on using Function Point.